Hi, today we will convert a logo image to SVG and animate using Fusion tools in DaVinci Resolve 17. Here is a sample logo in PNG format I created for this demo. It's opened in GIMP, a popular and powerful free image editor. In the toolbar, choose the fuzzy select tool. Move the mouse over and click to select the first border. Right click and in the pop-up menu, choose select to path. In the path dialog panel, a new path is added as selection, double click and rename it to outline one. Next select the inner border, convert the selection to path. Change the name to outline two. Repeat the steps for other parts in the logo, name the paths accordingly. In this demo, we include all letters in one path called logo text and name the little dragon path logo image. Once we're done with path creation, right click the path dialog panel, select export path. In the export path to SVG window, enter the name for the SVG file, make sure the option is set to export all paths from this image. Now we have the PNG logo converted to SVG format, open DaVinci Resolve. Create a Fusion clip called Logo Animation and open it in the Fusion page. Go to the Fusion menu and choose Import, SVG. Open the SVG file we just created in GIMP. In the Image Size dialog, change the width and height if needed. For this demo, I set the width to 1600, the height is adjusted automatically, click OK to confirm. We see that a node group called Sample Logo is added to the node editor. Connect it to the media out, and in the viewer we see the logo shaped in black lines. Double click to open the Sample Logo node group. The paths we set in GIMP are now imported as polygons masking background nodes. They also take the GIMP path names, so we can easily identify the different parts in the logo. Next, we will change background colors to match the ones we used in the logo image. The text and borders are orange, we copied the color code from GIMP. The dragon icon is red. After the colors are corrected, we can start making the animation. Select all the logo text nodes, so that they all show up in the inspector panel. Open the controls tab of the first logo text. Change the border width to 0.002. Add a keyframe for the length parameter at frame 0, set value to 0. Move playhead to frame 30, change the length to 1, a keyframe is added automatically. Turn off the view controls, move the playhead, and the outline of letter L is animated and self-drawing. Click and open logo text 2 in the inspector which is the outside edge of letter O, change the border width. Since we will animate all letters at the same time, we don't need to keyframe the length parameter for each one. Instead, we can simply connect it to the length of logo text. Apply the same changes to the rest of the letters. Set border width and connect the length to logo text. Play the clip and we see the letter outlines are drawn out to reveal the shapes of letters. Next, we select both logo image nodes and change the border width. This time, we will keyframe the length parameter starting at frame 25 and ending at frame 55. So the dragon icon will not start until the letters are almost complete drawing. Again, we connect the length of the second image node to the first one. The next part is the inner border of this logo, which is outline 2. Select both nodes, go to the inspector, change the border to 0.001. I wanted to make it a thinner line for an inner border. Once again, we will delay the animation until the little dragon is done, which is frame 55. So we start keyframing at 50 and finish in one second at frame 80. For the second node, Change the border width and link the length to the first one. Last part, the outline one is the bigger border surrounding the logo. Select both nodes, similar to what we did for other nodes, change the border width in the inspector. Since the border is bigger, 
I made the line thicker by setting the width to 0.01. Keyframe the length parameter from frame 75 to 105. Inside the controls tab of the other node, we set the width to 0.003 and connect the length parameter. Play the clip and we see a nicely animated logo with lines only. But we want to have a final logo with filled colors, just like the original design. Go to the Fusion menu, re-import the SVG file with the same dimension into the node editor. Bring the new node group into the left viewer, so that we can check the result. Change the background colors to match the logo, as we did earlier. Next, we will change all polygon masks to solid, so that we have a color-filled logo. Select all text nodes in the inspector, set border width to zero, and check the solid option. Repeat this for all polygon nodes, until we see the final color logo in the left viewer. Merge the logo with the previous one. Select the last merge node inside the new logo group, which is merge 8. Go to frame 105, where the previous animation finished. Open the settings tab in the inspector, set the blend value to 0, mark a keyframe. Move playhead to frame 120, change blend to 1 as the ending keyframe, so that the logo is fully displayed. Now we play the clip. The logo is animated and revealed to its final stage with full filled colors. There is one more thing here, if you compare the logos in two viewers, the space between the inner and outer borders are not as wide as in the left one, that's because the animated lines in the first node group are taking spaces. And we don't want those in the final logo. Open the first logo node group, select the last merge node, merge 4. Make sure we are at frame 105, when the lines finish drawing. Go to the inspector, in the settings tab, enable the keyframe for the blend parameter. Go to frame 120, when the final logo is fully revealed, set the blend value to zero, so the lines from the first logo group are gone. Now we see that both logos from two viewers are identical. Next, to add a final touch and make things a bit more interesting, I keyframed the little dragon and its wing, so we have some movements before we reach the final stage of the logo image. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.